Hello, Dinobro007 here. Just um, making a little video because uh, I'm in the middle of making the Giganotosaurus build and it's not done yet. The physical build, at least. I'm going to put a snapshot of it at the end in its current state, but it's still in the testing phase. I'm missing a few pieces. Uh, it can't hold its own head up, which is a bit of a problem. Uh, yeah, I'm going to fix all that up before I make the physical build and instructions. I'm also missing a few pieces that didn't seem to come when I ordered them, so knowing that I didn't have everything ready, and I'm still sort of going over research material. I know it sounds a little bit weird to be like, oh, researching, we do the Allosaurus, but I kind of have to go over it in my head, kind of visualize what I'm going to be making, and I haven't really gotten to the point where I'm comfortable starting. I'm just trying to figure out the skull, really, the horns and everything. So while that's doing it, I came across this little news here for LEGO Jurassic World. It's going to have new sets in 2019. This links off to a little article here that talks more about how they're planning on, you know, obviously they're planning on supporting Jurassic World Evolution and Alive to the next year, but what surprised me the most was that we're getting more Jurassic Park Lego sets. Sets specifically. Uh, let me see, where is it? Uh, yeah, they're doing it at... I'm trying to find... It. I'm trying to read over this really quick, trying to find the point where it talks about it a little bit. Yeah, LEGO will debut at... Uh, additional products from master partner Mattel and construction partner LEGO debut at retailers in the UK through 2019. Obviously, it's for everywhere. It wouldn't just be UK. That would be rather odd. But so we already knew... I think we already knew that Mattel is going to be making more Jurassic World toys in the future, but it surprised me to see LEGO doing another round for next year, and that brings up some really interesting ideas. The most interesting of all being that, what other sets could they make? I mean, think about it. How many Jurassic World iconic moments from the new two movies have they not made yet? Really none. Unless you're talking about, like, really big, expensive sets that just aren't gonna happen. Like some sort of big Main Street thing or something. Now, from the New Fallen Kingdom movie, I still say we're missing the Baryonyx sort of underground thing. The little section of, you know, I think, you know, I'm referencing it. The scene you know, of the Baryonyx in the little under, under lava place underground. I'm going to quickly pull up a little build that I made of that just to kind of show that off. I built this back just from the trailer scene. So it's a bit off and it's missing the ladder, but it still helps emphasize my point. This is obviously fucking massive. Sorry, excuse my language. This is obviously really, really massive. You can see an old model of the Baryonyx over there, which looks interesting. But yeah, so this is really the only scene I can think of from Fallen Kingdom that we're missing in Lego form. So this really just makes me think that we're going to be getting some more classic Jurassic Park Lego sets. <sighs> it really gets me excited. I mean, just think about the kind of crazy stuff we get. What I want is that, that I want, because the Star Wars guys, they get like these big, massive sets that are hundreds of dollars. And we, you know, we don't, like, at Lego, I, I should probably look this stuff up before. Uh, you know, I do this stuff, but I just kind of saw this and decided to, what did I spell wrong? Spelling visitor wrong. And because there was this Lego Ideas thing. I remember I supported this. And I want this. <laughs> I, want, I really want something like this. Oh my goodness. I just, I, I can't overstate how much I want this to be a thing. I would be willing to pay for this. It was declined. Yes, yeah, not approved. It really, like, instead we got that little set over there i have it on the floor with all the characters and that raptor that was like half-assed just repainted other raptor instead of how old he looks jesus yeah i'm, I'm rambling but i okay I, how about i go over just really quickly what would what would the what would be the best ideas for lego sets for say if because the, the, there's no way that if they're gonna be releasing sets that any of them are gonna be 
they can't they can't they can't theme a whole thing around Jurassic World and Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. If they could, I would be genuinely surprised that they would manage to pull off any more ideas. They've already used everything from Jurassic World. Dominus Rex enclosure, Raptor Cage, that truck scene, and then that was it, and they had to go off and do their own thing because there wasn't a lot of iconic moments that were Lego, you know, Lego applicable. So, in Fallen Kingdom, like I mentioned, all that's really missing is that baryonic scene. But there's so much they could do. Like, obviously, from Jurassic Park, like, okay, I'm gonna limit this. If I was to pick, like, let's say, two sets from every movie, so that we can get this nice and consistently locked down to just a line of six, plus maybe seven if we include that Fallen Kingdom baryonic thing, what would be the best ideas? I mean, personally, I think it would just be best to do the Visitor Center, obviously. Make that a big... I don't know, $200, $300 massive Lego set that just, you know, have like this three-story building from the Lego um, Lego expert line or something like that. And it's fantastic. And all I can think is one of those, but like the visitor center. And that's, <laughs> that's obvious. And then I think if you're going to pick two sets in the first movie, visitor center and the Velociraptor paddock, and with actually... Like fully repainted, really good Velociraptors. None of this. None of that one over there. I can't see what I'm pointing at, but the one that's over there. That's just the, that one green raptor from the from the from the junior set repainted. No, I want the full Jurassic World the game um, Velociraptors. Not Jurassic World the game. Lego Jurassic World the game. Because I keep looking stuff up because I just I want to make examples. I want something more to look at than just me sitting here looking at nothing. But look at that. Look, look at that. That's what I want to see right there. The actual Lego Velociraptor that we got was pretty trash. It was, again, just a repaint of the green raptor from the, from the junior set. It was entirely pointless. It's nice to have, but it, I mean, it's a nice sentiment, but it just it doesn't show that they really want to be committed to it. And I'd like it if we could get two little classic raptors in a Velociraptor paddock. And maybe with the Visitor Center set, we could get the classic T-Rex and another one of these raptors. So we could have all three, you know, of the raptors in the movie. Now, people are probably saying other things. I'm sorry for thinking that, you know, what would, what about those other scenes? And I think I'm going to get to that in a bit. I have an idea in my head right now. Now, if we go for the Lost World, easily, obviously, we'd go with <laughs> the Lost World uh, mobile app. Now, funny enough, I actually tried to post my Lost World Mobile Lab on the, on the, um, uh, the Lego Ideas website, and it got rejected, and the reason was nothing. There was no given reason. So, take that for what it's worth. But I already built one myself, and I would really love to see one of these, like a full build set with, a, you know, both the Rexes and the baby, and the Mercedes and all the Lost World characters. Oh, that would be great. And obviously, you'd have to make the only other scene. I, I, there's so many scenes you could make, but I feel like the best next step would to be make a uh, playset around the Ingen Village with the Tiger Stripe Raptors. Yeah, I can imagine that. But, like I'm thinking of it, like in, from the Lego Jurassic World game, that was fantastic. But they didn't recolor the Raptors in the one, so I can't give you an example. Tiger Stripe Raptors. Unless... Uh, let's see the Lost World Raptor. No, I know a guy who does some repaints of... I don't think I could find it. I don't know if he did it. Uh, but, yeah. I, pro I think he, he probably has one, but I just, I, I can't, I wouldn't be able to find it myself at this point. It's out there probably, somewhere. But yeah, it's just, yeah, okay, I'm just going to stop rambling again. Easily, for the only two sets would be Mobile Lab and the Visitor, the, the Villager, Engine Worker Village. God, he's just escaping my head. Now, after that, what would be the... Like, in Jurassic Park 3, we need, definitely, we need the Spinosaurus. 
with <laughs> it was right back there. There it is. Why why do we not have this yet? Why why is this not a thing? I want the Spinosaurus. I think everyone wants the Spinosaurus. T Rex is great. T Rex is fantastic. T Rex is the best dinosaur ever. But you know, you want more than just the T Rex. Uh, so easily we need the boat scene just out of the way. That's the best scene in that entire movie. We need it would be with the boat. It would be the Spinosaurus. We'd have Fresh Park Three Allen. We'd have of course we'd have Eric Kirby and then you know. These two, they aren't so important. We could forget them, but we would also. And then there'd also be like a small crane bone that comes with it. It'd just be so awesome. And then after that would be the uh, the lab, the one where they're like, "Oh, this is where you play God." And then we give us both the male and female variant of the Jurassic Park Three Raptors, and kind of focusing on getting all the variants out of the way. Obviously, we didn't go over T Rex from Jurassic Park Three because it'd be very similar to the one from. This thing, pretty similar, just a more lighter shade of green and less tan. Which you can see here, they didn't actually replicate, they just took the base original Jurassic Park T-Rex model because they didn't give any love to Jurassic Park 2 or 3 in this game. They designed Raptors for the first movie and the fourth movie, and then they just slapped those other models into the second and third game. Which I don't know why they did it here, I mean, they could have just swapped out the colors, but, you know, just me, I guess. And then after that, I mean, that's it. The visitor center, the raptor paddock, the Lost World Mobile Lab, the worker village, the Spinosaurus boat attack, and the raptor lab attack. Six sets, all right there. Just, that, that's what we need. That's what I'd say we need. A line of six, two from each movie. A Jurassic classic line. And then obviously the seventh one would be the uh, lava escape with the baryonyx. So we can get a new dinosaur in there. Now, there's a lot of things that are going to be missing from this. There are so many dinosaurs we don't have. So I just thought, what if they just packaged boxes of dinosaurs? Like, just dinosaurs, and that's it. What am I, what am I saying? Well, okay, let's go over this right now. Just I'm trying not to... Okay, I'm going to just keep going, but... Okay, so imagine if they had three boxes. The Jurassic... Or four boxes, actually. The Jurassic Park dinosaur boxes. The first box comes with one classic T-Rex, three classic raptors, four classic Gallimimus, a Triceratops, and a Brachiosaurus. And that's all that comes in the box. It's just dinosaurs. And then you have a Lost World box comes with both male and female T-Rex, the baby. Um, you'd have a Parasaurolophus, maybe even two Parasaurolophus, a couple of Gallimimus, a Pachycephalosaurus, a Mementisaurus, because those were in the Lost World, in the motorcycle drove under the legs in the hunter scene. Uh, obviously, two Stegosauruses, a baby Stegosaurus, um, Compsognathus, of course, and, and some Tiger Stripe Raptors, yeah. All that, again, just packaged into a box and put on the store shelf. Just, just dinosaurs alone, Dress Park 3, Spinosaurus, Ceratosaurus, Ankylosaurus, Corythosaurus, Pteranodons, everything. Just take dinosaurs, every single dinosaur, and obviously pterosaur. You know, package them all into a box, and then just put them on a shelf. I would pay money to just have dinosaurs in boxes. I would pay a lot of money for that. I would buy the regular sets and the dinosaurs, because why not? Look at that. Look at, look at this guy. Pretty cool stuff, man. It's a neat design, honestly, for the dinosaurs. I don't personally like it as much. I feel like it looks a little too stiff, like it wouldn't have a lot of movable parts. But then again, who knows? See, I'm maybe even better than I am, and he can make fully movable parts out of stuff that I can't. I mean, and then we'd have Jurassic World, because it also had dinosaurs that we didn't see. We would have the... When I mentioned, like, similar dinosaurs, like, they would have Parasaurolophus in both... Lost World and Jurassic Park 3, but they would be their own colored variants, just recolored. Because, you know, the Parasaurolophus and Jurassic Park 3 were all green, but the Parasaurolophus and the Lost World were all tan. So you'd have them colored correctly, and then you'd Jurassic World, we'd have an Indominus Rex, a Patasaurus, Ankylosaurus. Maybe you can get some of those dinosaurs that were just on the website, like Metriacanthosaurus, Thucamimus. There's so much you could do with this. There's so many dinosaurs, and 
as much as I talk about all these ideas, none of them are going to make it. I'm going to be honest, I don't honestly have a lot of hope. I don't know if I'm going to be expecting much out of LEGO at all. Maybe some Funko, or not Funko, what are those things called? Those character things? That may sound a bit pessimistic, but I believe it's better to stay pessimistic about this, because, I mean, if you get your hopes up, man, you're just going to be disappointed. Now, saying that, it's put me in the mind of realizing I should probably design these sets myself, because I don't think LEGO is going to be making any of them. I've already made the Lost Worlds, the mobile lab set. Here this is. This is the lot. This is the, this is this is the mobile lab set. And I went over a couple more visitor center, um, the Lost Art of Paddock, Worker Village, Monsters Boat Attack, and that little lab sequence. And I've already built both that, and I should probably go back and redesign the uh, Baryonyx one. Completely just start from scratch and remake it to be like an actual set because this thing's like a this thing's really weird It's I mean, it's neat. I guess like That door even moves As does that one But It doesn't really work well as a Lego set because it's just too big Too many pieces I should redesign this whole thing Maybe I should keep I should also keep that Baryonyx model honestly. Do I have it saved? As it doesn't look fantastic, but it's the right size. Or I could use this. It would look terrible, but it would represent sort of an actual Lego model that they would make. Legit. I would share the photos of that of my of that guy who makes really cool Lego models, but I don't want to take stuff that isn't mine, so I'm not gonna show those off. He he has made Baryonyx and Tiger Star Raptors. I'm just not gonna share them because I don't want to take his stuff. You put time and effort into that shit. And as much as I like to go on about it, I genuinely think that there could be some possibility that we could get some awesome sets out of, this. out of this, you know, some classic dress park sets from all three movies. But I hold a lot of skepticism that that's exactly what we're going to get. I've rambled enough, I feel. I just want to give my two cents on this. I really am hoping, hoping we're going to get classic sets for all three movies. But I know deep down inside that's not what we're getting, and we're probably going to get just some of those character little things that they have, whatever they're called. I can hope for new dinosaurs, I can hope for new sets, but I don't hold a lot of hope. Lego are all about recycling. I mean, <laughs> just in the recent line, they recycled the truck from the last one and slightly remade it for the Carnotaurus set. Um, and they recycled that T-Rex capture thing for that new, sort of, that other new T-Rex holding truck. It isn't necessarily a terrible thing, but they are not the kind of people to go out and do something amazing and spectacular, even with a franchise that makes billions like Jurassic Park. I mean, yeah, if you didn't know both, I mean, what was it? Jurassic World made 1.6 and Fallen Kingdom made 1.3 billion? Yeah, something like that. Even with a series that makes that much money? And is doing better than Star Wars currently, they're probably still not going to give it the treatment that a lot of us kind of hope they do. And since that's going to happen, I'm probably going to go and start making, like, not making any promises, but I might go out of my way and make my own play sets just to show off what would be cool. This is, the, the mobile lab is really the best example of a Lego set that I can think of. It's basically exactly what I'd love to see. This is, I would just, this is exactly what I want from a Lost World Lego set, right here. None of the stickers, none of that sticker crap either. I saw the one, where's the actually, I saw the build, I want to pull the build from the actual game. Lego Jurassic World game, mobile lab. Let me just look at that. It's not terrible, but it's like, it's too much of one color. It's all like one shade of green. It's not the worst thing in the world, but you can see they're like compensating with like stickers. None of the stickers. Go out, that. go out and like, you know, make it, make it like this. It's a bit more mixing of dark and light green. I feel like they'll look better than stickers. I'm just I'm rambling on. I'm not saying mine is the best, but I'm really hoping that the reason that they rejected this from Lego Ideas is that they are actually making one. I hope, and I hope to God that's what they're doing. So yeah, Lego are making more sets coming up for the thing, whether they will be... Debut at retailers. 
you know, just additional products. They aren't, there's no saying this is actually going to be a line, a full set, or just a collection of builds, like those little people. Uh, so, I think world. It's these things, brickheads. It's, I have a feeling that they're probably just going to be a few brickheads. I'm honestly not holding a lot of hope. But hey, who knows? You may just see. And hopefully, a new line will come out that will allow us to actually build more LEGO sets. I mean, I currently have every LEGO set. This is the only one I don't own because it's not released yet. We'll be getting it because of Ian Malcolm. But I hope that we are going to be seeing some of these models that are from the LEGO Jurassic World game, Jurassic, yeah, Jurassic World game that we never got anywhere else. So, hope, but I know it's probably not going to happen. So now that I've rambled on enough and wasted enough of your time, I'm going to post the image of the current build of the Ga LEGO Giga Nerdosaurus that I'm working on. It's not fantastic. It's missing pieces, like I said, and um, I just need to finish this up. Okay, I'm just going to end it here.